Hi, I'm Una. You're very welcome to my channel. The inspiration for today's video came from my most recent upload. I made a card using a gnome stencil from Brutus Munro. I need some more of these cards to send to family and friends, so I decided to try two different techniques today. I'll be using craft cardstock and glimmer paste, and I'll be using this battery operated makeup brush as a blending tool. I got that tip from Kathy Callanine, and I linked to her channel and her video down below, an amazing, talented creator. This is the stencil and I'm putting it in place on Nina Desert Storm environmental craft cardstock. This is the brush. The switch is on the handle and it rotates. I hold it on the face of the pad, then bring it to the card. I am not exerting any pressure whatsoever on this. I am very lightly holding it. In fact, if you exert pressure, it'll stop spinning. So you just can't. So very lightly bring it from the pad to the paper and look how quickly it cleans off. Amazing. It, I just love it. I'm using Mermaid Lagoon for the little jacket. And do you see that circle that was there in the beginning with other blending tools? If you did that, you'd be really hard pressed to get rid of it. And this only took a few minutes. I know it speeded up, but in real life, it only took a few minutes. The blue didn't clean up so easily, but it's a very, very strong pigment. And I'm really happy with the results. And when that dries, it's so smooth. Cleaning off the stencil is no problem at all. Just showing you how I create those masks. I was disappointed this stencil didn't come with the bits that you could insert into it because the base of the beard is really very flimsy and you really need to hold it steady with something to make sure you get a clean edge. Just teasing the post-it note into place there. Now I'll be able to do the, the bottom of the beard. I've created a mask for the top piece as well. It's ready now to put in place. But if you have the right tools, use the right tools. So I took out my Make Art Station. It really makes life easy for stenciling. The magnets are wonderful. Now I'm using Lawn Fawn White Ink. I don't leave this in because it's just the same thing, pad to paper. That's looking lovely now, but I won't be so happy with it when it dries back. It took a lot longer to clean the inking tool this time because that white ink pad is really, really juicy. Making the nose with my Sakura glaze pen. I shifted the stencil, but I was able to put it right. Now I'm using my original card to give myself guidance as to how to make the mask. And I'm just doing it here very quickly. Funny times we live in. If you told me last February I'd be making cards in August with masks on gnomes, I'd have said, no way. This Pink Fresh Studio set is gorgeous and I'm going to use it for my sentiment. I chose Sending Smiles. I didn't use the Craft and Black later. You'll see what I chose in the end. The beard was looking a dirty grey, so I decided he deserved a white beard. I white heat embossed. I smooshed on some Versamark ink with my sponge dauber. I chose some bling for the jacket and the hat. I didn't leave this bit of the video in. It took quite a while, probably the longest thing I did to this little gnome, but I thought it was worth it. Turned out super cute in the end. Trimmed the panel. Then I had to make up my mind, would I go black strip with black words or gold strip with gold words? I decided to go with the gold. It was just more cheerful. And I wanted this guy to be a little bit mischievous. And I was pleased with that, a little extra bling there with some glitter circles. 
For the second card, I put the mask over the beard part of the card to start with because I'm going to use a glimmer paste. I have two here, Raspberry Rhodolite and Peridot Green from Nuvo. These are new and I have two pieces of press and seal ready to seal the jars. I got that tip from Amy R of Prairie Paper and Ink. It's a great tip for making sure your paste doesn't go hard. I don't know why I didn't remove the silver foil. <laughs> I will the next time I'm using it. It doesn't need to be there. The press and seal will keep it. Going slowly here just to let you see how it applies and then I'll speed it up because I did keep going, adding more paste, smoothing it out until I was happy that I had the right thickness of paste as well as the right smoothness. So I'm sealing the jar with the press and seal. I moved to the red to do the jacket. It's a lovely consistency, very easy to work with. And that Nuvo tool I'm using makes life very easy. It's time to reveal the outcome. Very gently, very carefully. And quite nice, but the bottom of the jacket needs a little repair. I scraped that away when it was dry, but it did leave a mark on the paper and I'll show you in a moment how I put that right. Believe it or not, I last sealed this jar three, if not four years ago, and it was still smooth and creamy. I couldn't believe it. I was so pleased. That certainly was good value for money. It lasted a long time. Just showing you the way I did the beard I wanted it not to be smooth, but to look like icing on a Christmas cake, like snow. Removed a few bits and pieces until I was happy with it and left it to dry. And this is how I finished off the card. I put on the mask and eyes like I did for the last card. I covered up the boo-boo across the bottom with a belt and buckle. I put a black edge a trim around the edge of the card. It needed something to ground it. There was too much white space around the gnome and the words. But I was very happy with it in the end. The glimmer paste is absolutely gorgeous and I love his beard. I used some black bling. I wouldn't normally use black bling. I thought this was the time for it. And so those are the cards I created. I hope you enjoyed these techniques and that maybe you'd give them a try too. Maybe you'd like to try the makeup brush. I list my supplies down below. Thank you so much for being with me today. If you enjoyed this video, would you please give it a thumbs up? That would be really good for me and my channel. If you'd like to watch some more videos, there are some more on screen. I'll have links down below as well. Leave a comment. I'd love to talk to you. Bye for now. All the best and do take great care.